Alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new Big Cherry Retro React here on The Ankle. Hey Ember. <laughs> so we are back you guys with another Retro React. You know how we do it. Today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at how's my health doing? And this is a shorter video. And then after that is a video called Everything I Ate Today, and that's a short video, like two and a half minutes. So I think it would only be fair to make this a triple feature and go to the next video after that, which is opening your Snapchats. Very exciting, guys, very exciting. So you will be getting this video on Wednesday, and I've decided Wednesdays are going to be for our girl Alex. I know, I know, listen, I'm not going to do everything and always have your guys' support or your guys' interest in it. You know, that's just how it is. I think it would be implausible and inauthentic of me to not do what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? So I will make sure to have a Amber video out for you guys that love my Amber content. And I will also be putting out a, another React to HRH collection. Because honestly, I have a great time watching her videos. I think she, the girl is freaking hysterical. I mean, she is a little bit iffy, you know? But so's this girl. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy her videos and I enjoy reacting to them for you guys. So I think we're going to continue with that for just a little bit. Plus she gives me some really great sound clips. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> not going to talk too much further about that. But yeah, so let's just dive right in. I mean, honestly, I, Destiny has said that like health stuff really wasn't happening for her around this time. And I believe it like... The girl was never going to the doctors or anything. So, like, I mean, but who knows? Maybe things were starting to go awry. About my heart issue. I've told you guys about my back issue. I've told you guys about my foot and leg issue. Yeah, girl, you have all these issues, but you never seem to actually, like, go to the doctors for them. How interesting. And I remember when I was on You Now, a lot of people were asking, like, how are you doing with your health? How's your back? How's your heart? And... Not a lot of people were on you now because not a lot of people know I have a you now. I'm sorry if my hair is crazy, but girl, that's okay. <laughs> girl, when isn't it crazy? Um, so I figured this is my big biggest venue to talk to you guys on. So I biggest venue. Okay, girl. <laughs> to talk to you guys. She's got the Madison Square Garden of venues right now. About those things. So the first thing I want to start with is my back. <laughs> um, a long time ago, I'm like my neck. My back, lick my, the end my. You know Amber gets down to that song. Come on, you know it. You know it. With that stanky swamp ass, you know she's getting down to that song. To the like dirty deets, but I got diagnosed with several things at once a swollen spine, hip versatitis, can't say it, girl. I suck at pronouncing things. And uh, like a bulge slash slip disc. And uh, nothing, nothing that she has been actually diagnosed for or, or actually seen a doctor for. She just, like, feels something wrong deep within, like, the trenches of her body. <laughs> and she just goes on to fucking Google and does it for herself. You, you guys remember the eye twitch during the Becky era. The eye twitch where she literally thought she had a fucking, like, brain cancer. I mean, she did have cancer, but it wasn't in the brain. The doctor said, since you got a slip disc, you got a bulge disc, they're a lot of the same, but um, he said that since you get them one time and it's really that bad, it's gonna come back, you know, randomly in your life. And I was like, shit. <laughs> so it does come back randomly and sitting all day at work. Has she mentioned it at all recently, guys? I think she has. I think in the wifey era, she mentioned her bulged slash slipped disc. <laughs> Definitely doesn't help, but I normally do not take medicine when it comes to things. I could have the worst headache in the world. I will not take medicine. Um, I didn't take medicine for my back for the longest time, for years. And finally, I was just like, 
I'm gonna suck it up. I'm gonna suck it up. I actually took medicine for my back. I mean, it's funny to me just how she'll be so, like, strict about even, like, the slightest fucking cold medicine. But when it comes to unregulated Delta 8 shit or fucking alcohol, oh, who cares? About the minute it started hurting, I decided to take medicine, and I'm not used to medicine, so it works on me pretty well. And ever since then, my back's been fine. Um, I'm super happy about that. <laughs> so in other words, it was bullshit. I only get a little pain, but it's- She literally, the day I remember, the day that she was complaining, her back really hurt. She was complaining about it before work. She was complaining about it during work. And then miraculously, as soon as she was done work for the day, all her pain just went away. Girl, that's anxiety. Anxiety can manifest physically in your body like that. For me, it makes me feel nauseous. So if I'm afraid or nervous to go do something, I get really nauseous feeling. Nothing compared to like, what it could be and what it has been so as of right now i am a-okay my back is totally good super happy about that a-okay so you guys aren't going to hear me talk about it again until it's convenient as long as i don't get like a flare i'm okay because when the flare happens a flare it's when everything goes downhill from there but i'm just glad i took care of it instead of ignoring it because that's what i usually do that's how i am I girl how'd you take care of it you popped a fucking advil that's it nor health issues and that's pretty bad <laughs> so the next thing is dun, dun, dun. <laughs> how the fuck did she take care of it dude like what the fuck my what was it like where am i even at with this my heart issue <laughs> um as you guys know i went to the hospital because my heart was beating irregular irregularly and i was kind of girl how do you know if it was or not scared about it like i didn't know what was happening um i took a bunch of tests yada 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 turns out everything is fine all my tests came back normal no thyroid issue no uh sw swollen heart enlarged heart which i was really nervous about no diabetes nothing besides the ekg was a little funky clearly um i already forgot what it's called <laughs> it's like a few oh what was funky with it girl it's like it's, it's just a weird heartbeat and the uh the doctor explained to me that that happened to a lot of people a lot of people don't even notice and the fact that i noticed is a good thing because i went to the doctor and he was praising me because of that and i was like yeah he said a lot of people <laughs> She's like, yeah, you better kiss my ass. I know what I'm talking about. Amberlynn, MD. More heart issues, which is kind of scary. Anyways, um, he said it was really just because of stress and anxiety and stuff like that. Because at the time, I was going through a lot of stress and anxiety. And the question is, is it better now? And I don't want to say yes and I don't want to say no. I'm just going to say... It Girl, bye. She's acting like any night she could just die in her sleep from a fucking heart attack. Same, because I honestly feel it. Pretty much. I, I mean, that's kind of the true tea, though, isn't it? She could just, like, go at any night, like, in the middle of her sleep from a heart attack. Like, truly. All the time. I feel like I'm getting used to the feeling, so I'm not sitting there noticing it. I mean, she hasn't posted in a few days. It could have happened. We would never know. Like, who would come on and tell us? Destiny? Maybe Becky? Becky could throw, like, a little party. <sighs> Wizard of Oz party. Hee -haw, the witch is dead. <laughs> still happens. Um, I do have a lot of stress still. I still, I'm a very stressed person. I worry about everything. And I feel like one of the best things that I've been told is just stop worrying about things you cannot change. And that's girl, that's, pff, you might as well tell Amber Lynn I be 120 pounds right now. <laughs> like you might as well tell her to go to the doctor and lipo all that weight off of her. It ain't gonna fucking happen, my guy. <laughs> I ever do is my bow, like, okay. That's all I ever do is worry about things that I cannot change, and that's just how I am. I feel like that's how I'll always be, and I don't know how to, like, fix that. And it's not even just that, but I'm worried about things that I can change, and I do have to change, and that's causing me stress and making me overwhelmed, and I know my weight is a really big issue because of it, and girl, I don't want to get into it, but, like, my weight- Well, this is kind of the video for you to do that, girl. <laughs> has a lot to do with everything my heart my back my stress and my legs and my feet what i'm about to tell you now as you guys know i sit 10 hours a day at work i sit when i film for you guys i sit when i'm eating my dinner when i come home it's i sit most of the day and that's not good for me but that's just how my life is unfortunately i've come to realize because watching back some like older older videos when she was working in like the care facility place she would be complaining that that was too much time on her feet. 
so she had to stop working there. This, it's too much time off of her feet, so she has to stop working there. Even though she just went home and didn't do shit and stayed sitting on her fat ass the whole time and gained like another 150 pounds. I have a feeling that Amber's the type of girl that no matter what the situation is, she's always gonna find something to fucking complain about. She's always going to find something. Um, I try to get up as much as I can with the environment. Like I can't just be getting up at work like every two seconds like girl now. Um, but as for i mean maybe you could just stand up in place girl like but could you imagine just like i don't know what their setup was but like sitting in a little cubicle and all of a sudden here comes five foot two 600 pounds amber lynn just like popping up from her little desk <laughs> like a fucking whack-a-mole legs and feet as you guys know they're swollen i just want to say my swollen back in the chat calves have always been like that even like as a sixth grader i still remember i was very self-conscious about it i was in choir and i decided to wear capris because my mom got them for me and they were black girl you showed off your cankles damn and they had these little fake diamonds on the bottom of them and i thought they were beautiful i was very scared to wear them but i didn't want to hurt my mom's feelings and plus i did i liked them a lot so i wore them to my choir and the girls in front of me made fun of my legs like I have never known in my life. Like they hardcore right in front of me were just seeing the rudest things in the world. And ever since- Well, I'm not gonna say that's right, but that's kids, that's teenagers. And yeah, I'm sorry that you experienced that, Amberlynn, because I don't think anyone should be bullied at that age. You're 32 years old though now, you can fucking stand to hear it. Your legs are nasty. <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna rot in hell and anyone that laughed you're all rotting in hell too right beside me so you better get nice and warm down there all right and i have been so self-conscious about my legs i have every reason to be they are huge and disgusting i'm gonna be real right the hell now like she said it even she matters. said it truth um so but like uh true tea ew this is the caring side of me coming out Ugh. i don't like to hear her talk about herself that way i wouldn't want to hear one of my friends talk about themselves that way and i, I just wouldn't want anyone to have that like type of self image you know that's very depressing that's very sad at the same time amberlynn you don't do anything to help it my legs have always been like that i I'm just gonna assume it's like fluid or just some fat people have bigger legs. Like, what can I? Did she not know about cellulitis at this point? <laughs> um, because she said she had it before, or not cellulitis, but like the lymphedema. But then there's some fat people who have like these tiny calves, and I'm like, girl, what the hell? How did you get tiny calves? Like, it's because they probably stayed moving throughout. Like, I noticed that they're more active, heavier people tend to not have those like weird lumpy like growths you know what i mean that's caused from just sitting dude like absolutely no movement your legs have no circulation in it so the fluids can't properly drain and whatnot like that's just from you being lazy dog so i'm like no but it's just it's crazy um but now that i sit all day long oh you guys know that i keep saying my legs are getting swollen, but it's like, I don't notice my legs per se because they're always big. They've always been really big, but I'm noticing my feet getting really swollen and it's freaking me out. A lot of people say it's because of the sodium and because I am sitting all day long. I really want to believe that, but there's always that like part of me that's like, oh my God, I wonder if I have heart failure because that could very well be a possibility. Girl, <sighs> either way, it comes down to the fact that you're fat. Like, so either way, buck up. Like, I know I'm only 25, but I'm also morbidly obese at the highest ain't that wild dude she was 25 at this point two years younger than i am now and nothing has changed between then and now that's wild wild <laughs> and that makes me nervous and that's that but my legs and my feet are not getting any better if anything they might be getting a little worse so i just really feel like i need to watch my sodium intake but it's like i am loving making soup concoctions lately because it's cold outside and girl, I just like soup. Ew, not the soup. And I know there's a lot of sodium in the soup that I make. That's just how it is and how it's gonna be. 
and I don't know how to get around that without making it taste bland because girl I'm gonna eat it if it's bland I don't want to be wasting food it's just a mixture of everything um, girl what is she fucking on about you can make food not bland and not do like crazy amounts of salt dog what the fuck <laughs> I just hope I can give you guys another health update one of these days and be like everything is fixed and I am doing great that oh but it only got worse but I want honestly but I don't know <laughs> I just wanted to let you guys know that my back is better my heart is pretty much the same and the swelling is pretty much getting i don't know i'd say a little worse i don't really know but i am keeping track of everything so nothing's really better okay because the back it's only better because she's taking like advil or whatever a leave or whatever i'm trying to in my head i'm not writing this down which i probably should like when does my heart get the worst when do i get the most swollen when does my back hurt when you know i'm trying to like know all these things so i can try to like work my way around well why don't you write it down in one of your little journals bestie and fix it and i know a lot of you are gonna say number one lose the weight and girl i know so thank you guys for watching i'll see you in my next video <laughs> she's like i know shut the fuck up but like girl do you comments are off of course so let's go right into everything I ate today. Let's see if Girlie's really trying to be healthy. Although, true talk, we know that these what I ate in a day videos are always, have been fabricated before. That this is really not what she eats in a day. She eats a lot more. Guys, so Back with the cottage cheese, Jesus fuck. I wanted to film a what I eat in a day video because you guys enjoy the burnt fucking bacon. So that's probably why she buys the microwave, guys, because she can't cook actual bacon. So why not? This is already cooked bacon that you just pop in the microwave. I put this. Oh, but you fucked it that hard? Jesus, dude. For just a minute and it got burnt. I don't mind though. I'm not going to waste it. I'll just eat it. This is just. Girl. A cottage cheese and this is two eggs i just have a little bit of salt and quite a bit of pepper on this and i just fried it um i tried to cook i'm a bitch for pepper especially on eggs so i'm not gonna knock her there although her pepper it looks like tiny little fucking dead ants all over all the way because that's how i prefer it so this is my first meal i forgot i also use pepper on my cottage cheese same like you guys even care but i'm gonna show Ew. you anyway i put the bacon on top of my egg and i realized it's not flavorful enough so i'm gonna add sriracha of course it's not <laughs> that pre-diabetic tongue needs something yum okay so for work i have three breaks and a lunch and this is just a disclaimer i eat all of this food in a we know you do girly and they seem to be getting progressively unhealthier 10 hours is that your fucking tuna fish dip slop shit that was a mouthful and i'm just gonna also say i am not a healthy eater right now we see i'm just eating less and I know a lot of you are gonna hate me and hate on me and say, oh my God, that's so much food, but what works for you might not work for me and vice versa. So over here, I just have a couple of these mints. They're Andy's mints. Oh yeah, that is too much, girly. You big fatty. Why are you eating all that candy, you big fatty? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, guys, I'm kidding. And there's three of them and four of these Hershey Kisses. I have a That's not that crazy, girl, just calm down. You, I I will allow it, Amberlynn. You may have a little sweet. <laughs> baby bell cheese i have these peanut butter and chocolate munchy crackers yeah you don't need the chocolate scrape it off throw it away <laughs> i have tuna with some mayonnaise and pepper yeah. some wheat things to go fucking go figure oh the nastiest shit dude and just a little bag of barbecue chips so this is my final meal for the night it's just a ramen noodle chicken with seasoning i have italian seasoning seasoning italian seasoning and ramen dude jesus christ she just takes food and fucks it. <laughs> That's the best way I could describe it, dude. She just takes a dish and she fucks it. <laughs> Seasoning, pepper, corn, sriracha, um, brags, aminos, which is like a healthier- You put hot dogs in there too? You bit fucking bit. <laughs> Enough soy sauce, green onion, and uh, one hot dog. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> no ketchup? Oh, there we go. That's all that I'm going to be eating today. No, uh, yeah, that's all. That's all. <laughs> that's how big the bowl is, if you're curious. Compared to my hand, not that big. Jesus Christ, Amberlynn. <laughs> Just fucking dislocate your jaw and throw it back. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Again, it's only one ramen. Did I say corn and green onion? I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> She's trying so hard to fucking tell us, guys, this is not that much food. I'm gonna guess that's probably two things of ramen. It's been a long day, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next It's been a long day, so she's having two things of ramen. Jesus fuck. <laughs> oh my god. 
Why is she so annoying? That was a good laugh, not gonna lie, guys. She definitely ate more than that. Come on, the biggie, please. Oh, that one got 54,000 views, by the way. <laughs> I'm so good at my job. Okay, so let's go to opening your Snapchats. Last one for today. Hey guys, so I have- Hey, Amber. Never done this type of video before, and I decided I want to, so I'm going to. Um, it's opening your snap- At a girl, I, I mean, I'll accept that. You want to, so do it. Fuck yeah. That's on camera, and I'm kind of scared because if someone sends me something mean, you guys will hear it firsthand here. If someone sends me something perverted, you guys will see it firsthand here. And Imagine she showed full on dick and balls. <laughs> Didn't Chantal do that on a live once? Didn't she? She got in big trouble for, like, an Omega live stream. I remember that. She got, like, her channel taken away for that, didn't she? Ooh, throwback. <laughs> that I'm scared for because there are some crazies out there, and it's coming in hot. Yeah, it is crazy. Who the fuck would send you something like that? Ew. Who the fuck would send you anything in general but that especially? Like, ew, Amber. I wouldn't want Amber looking at my junk. <laughs> I hope you guys can even... Like, this is gonna be kind of difficult, let's be real. So, let's hope you guys can even see these. Yeah, because you're so I'm just gonna start at the top. Hi, Evelyn. My question is, do you ever plan on coming to Australia? Love you, girl. Bitch, please. You think she could get on a flight? Do you think... Okay. Not just do you think she could get on a flight. Do you think she could get on, like, a 20-hour flight? Because that's, like, essentially how long it would take her to get there. Dude, she would fucking die. She would crash that goddamn plane into the fucking ocean. Please. <laughs> she's literally watching me. <laughs> it's like a different dimension. She's watching me as she's snapping me as I'm filming for her. Does that make sense? Do I ever plan on- No, Amber, that didn't make sense. You're stupid. <laughs> Don't become a writer. To Australia. Oh, by the way, I love you too. Like, for real. I love you guys so much. You guys are the greatest. Okay. Australia. I don't know. I've never been out of the country. I don't know if I'll ever go out of the country. I'm kind of like really scared on an airplane. Yeah, girl, you never fucking would. You never fucking would, and you never will. And I feel like it's gonna take a long time to get there, but girl, if I go, I will let you know. Because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go. Hey, girl, I love your vlogs, and you probably mentioned this somewhere before, but how old are you and what state do you live in? Thank you so much. Girl, that's a fucking lame-ass question. Fucking Becky. What the hell what kind of a question was that, you dumbass? I really... <laughs> I'm gonna bully her supporters. I love when people appreciate the videos that I film. I am 25. I will be 26 on December 27th. And I physically can't even. Like, literally. I just... How am I gonna be 26? How is she 25, almost 26, and she literally talks like a fucking child, dude? What the hell? I'm not... I I just don't get how, like, mentally she's like that. And, like, nothing's changed. She's 32, dude, and nothing has changed. She still acts like a fucking teenager. I feel, I mean, I feel like I'm 100, let's be real. But, like, in the heart of hearts and, in, like, in my mind, I, I, I feel a lot younger than that. And time has flown by. And I live in Kentucky. That, that's a little unfortunate. unfortunate. I have lived here since June. Yeah, she has always fucking hated Kentucky. Always hated it. But all of her handlers were there, so... Is hi. Hi, Berlin. Hi, Destiny. I want to know how you guys adapted to first moving in with each other. Uh, I was really shy at first, and I have some habits as does she, as does everybody, that I was really like, do I want her to know these habits? Will she still love me if she knows these habits? And there's... What, that you don't wash yourself? It's about my body or things about the way I do certain things or just who I am as a person that she really didn't get to know because moving in with someone is a huge freaking leap. And you only talked to her for like two weeks or so before you decided to move in. Like it was very quick. You never really hung out with each other firsthand before. Like you decided to, oh, all of a sudden I'm just going to go and live with this new person. It changes everything, whether it's bad or it's good. But she accepts me as I am, but it took it took a while. I don't know. And I mean, just imagine a narcissist like Amber Lynn, because you don't truly know someone until you live with them. That's the hard truth. Jesus Christ. Like, could you imagine? Just imagine how Amber Lynn probably portrays herself to these new, like, love interests. And then... <laughs> juxtapose that to how Amberlynn actually is and just how much of like a hard fucking like reality check that must be for all of her partners once they realize that like 
the Amberlynn that they might have fell for emotionally, because you can't tell me anyone physically is falling for this bitch, um, emotionally falls for her, they, um, I guarantee you, like, it's a hard reality check for them once her true identity, like, comes out. Gradually, when you move in with someone, I mean, at least for me and Destiny, I mean, she wasn't shy at first hand. Like, I don't think she needed to adjust at all. Like, she was her, but I was over here like, I'm a little mouse in the corner. Like, don't look at me. No, I'm joking. But um, I think as you get to know someone and as you spend more time. You're not joking, though. You probably were like, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Um, like, your true colors show, girl. Like, you ain't just showing pink. You're now showing purple and blue and yellow and orange. And if they can't accept you for as you are, then you know it's... Girl, what the fuck? It's not right. That's why, like, this goes on a whole different tangent. <coughs> <coughs> If they can't accept you for who you are. Well, Amberlynn, who you are is a spoiled little fucking brat. So, like, who the fuck would want to accept you for that? That's why when people say they will not move in with their significant other until they're married, I'm like, you're making an awful choice. I know everyone's opinion's different. Everyone's, you know, choices are different. But to me, like, you don't get to... I don't know. I would need to be with someone that, like, travels a lot or something for work. Like, to be honest, I don't want someone there all the time. I really don't. Spending every single fucking day with someone, I would go crazy, dude. <laughs> That's why, like, you're supposed to have separate jobs, lead separate lives away from each other. So that, like, <laughs> you get time apart. Like, I can't stand when it's just everything becomes melded together into someone's, like, relationship. Because guess what? When it inevitably ends, you feel like your entire fucking world has fallen apart, and that's just not the case. Do you know someone? I'm being for real. Until you are living with them. That is when you really get to know someone. That is when they're in their innocence, and in their- True. In their comfort, and that's when everything- That's when everything comes out. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I feel like that's really important. Especially for you, Amber. Especially for you. Actually live with the person you want to marry before you marry them. I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> But you live with everyone, so what the fuck does it matter? What's a weird food combination you like to eat? Love your videos, thank you. Anything with mustard. Well, thank you. You shouldn't be thanking me. I should be thanking you. And I love you, too. A weird food combination. Um, this probably isn't weird, but recently, I don't even like hot dogs. Okay, I don't. The only way I like a hot dog is if it's, like, with chili or, like, macaroni and cheese. That's pretty much the only time. Like, I can't just look. So, like, the most childish ways to have it? eat a hot dog but recently i don't know what it was i i don't know was i smoking something probably just don't smoke kids say no drugs um <laughs> oh amber i was making a ramen noodle and i wanted to get creative and i cut up a hot dog and i put it in there is that like weird i don't know wow it's so weird it's not that weird but like it's just unnecessary for you i think um i know this isn't weird but it's something i do whenever i have ice cream i and the fact that she probably, like, cooked the hot dog in the ramen, too. Like, so it's basically, like, <laughs> ramen hot dog water. What is beeping? We're gonna ignore that. Act like it's not a bomb. I don't know what's beeping. Can you guys even hear it? Oh, yeah, it's definitely a bomb, girl. Definitely a bomb. Definitely. You probably accidentally ate it earlier. Is it all in my head? Okay, so whenever I have ice cream, we're totally gonna ignore that. Hopefully, it stopped. Boom, okay. Whenever I have ice cream, I have to put milk in it. I don't know, like my mom did it when I was younger and I feel like I'm kind of just like copying her. So that's probably- Well, what. isn't that your whole personality? Your hair, how you eat, literally everything comes down to copying your mom. Maybe her mom is a narcissistic abuser and that's why Amber Lynn is one so well and she knows all the tricks of the trade. She's just trying to emulate mother because she never really had her mother's love. You guys, I think I just cracked Amber Lynn's, like, mental issues. But I know that's not a weird combination because milk is made, I mean, ice cream is made with milk. I really don't know. No, it's not, bestie. No, it's not. It's made with uh, heavy cream. It's not milk. Actually, I don't even think it's heavy cream. I think it's just cream. I don't know, but it's not milk. Got it, girl. Because she's stupid, so she wouldn't know that. It's called the Hot Cheeto Bagel. This is my jam. This is my bay. So it's just a regular bagel. You're going to get chive, uh, chive and onion, cream cheese. You're going to put that... Always with the fucking cream cheese, dude. Bagel. You're going to get yourself some Hot Cheetos. You're going to lay those Hot Cheetos, not in the bag. You're going to take them out of the bag, and you're going to put them... No fucking shit. Oh, my God. You're going to close the bagel, and there is a Hot Cheeto Bagel. I made that up. 
years ago. Okay, I probably didn't make that up, but I never saw it from anyone, never saw it anywhere, totally just created it out of my head. Yeah, I bet. And everyone that likes bagels, cream cheese, and hot Cheetos, if you like those, yes, but everyone that I know who likes those three things, I told them to eat that. They did, and they love it. It is so good. I really just cannot. I don't know, girl. That seems like some fat fuck shit, but okay. Hey, Amber, I love you. How much time? How much time? How much money do you think your jewelry collection is worth? Love you too, Destiny. About ten whole dollars, because it's all from fucking Walmart. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, love you. Thank you. Not, like, how much she actually spent on it. Like, if she were to resell them, how much do you think it's all worth? About ten bucks. Um, my jewelry collection. Um, I will admit, a lot of it is cheapo. Let's be real. I do yep. have a few pieces. More than a few. Pieces. Oh, you hear that, guys? They're pieces. How nice. Are expensive. What atelier did you get them from? Um, but I have so many that it all adds up. I have the bracelets, I have rings, I have necklaces, and I have earrings, and it's just mad. And easily, so easily, what it's worth, I don't know, but how much have I spent on it? Like, that's really the legit question right now that I can come up with in my head, because I really don't know how much it's worth. I don't know. But how much I've spent on it is way easily close to like ten thousand dollars when it's that's fucking ridiculous said and done how much i've gotten rid of how much i still have like i wish i could show you guys right now and it's probably like quadrupled that by now all scattered about doing its own thing oh, it's pretty scary hey amberlyn um it's really dark in here but don't mind that oh, I just... but um have you ever been in love with a guy before <laughs> oh my god juicy juicy that is juicy girl have i ever been in love with a guy okay um <laughs> Yes, I, yes, she has. Thought I was in love with quite a few people in my life. I'm gonna be honest. You know, when you're in high school or when you're just young in general, you think that you are in love, but you really aren't. And it's more. Girl, <laughs> that's literally your life now as a 30 something year old. Shut the fuck up. Like infatuation or maybe obsession or um, lust or, you know, just puppy love, if you will. Ew, can you imagine Amberlynn lusting over someone? Ew. Oh, I just closed my eyes and I got a really gross image. I don't want to think about it. That has happened quite a bit. Yes, with guys. <laughs> She's definitely bi. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. To be honest, I just think guys have more standards. But someone would fuck her. Someone would. I'm just gonna say yes. Been there, done that. Over it. <laughs> Been there, done that. Committed a felony by giving a handy in a public movie theater. Pee Wee Herman. His career almost got ruined. Just for, like, jerking it a little in a fucking porno theater. Where, like, if anything, I feel like that's where it would be encouraged. But... <laughs> that's beside the point. But Amber Lynn's over here giving handies in the fucking back row. You know they got cameras in there, girl. They have cameras in the movie theaters, so they see everything that you do dark, late in there. Hi, Amberlynn. I'm just here with my dog. And I was just wondering who your celebrity crush is. <laughs> Hello to you and your dog, though. Okay. I love how she made, like, the uh, cute puppy face before she even saw the dog. Hmm. <sighs> Could have been the ugliest thing ever, Amber. What if it was a dead puppy? Like, she didn't say it was alive. The fuck? <laughs> I'm going off the rails. Kristen Stewart. Um, God. I forgot what the question was. Chloe oh, celebrity crush. Rats. That's iffy. Chloe Grace Moretz was like 16 at the time. Girl, I mean, you do like them young. We know that. We know that. You guys remember Pedo Bear? That little meme from like the early 2000s, that's Amber Lynn. <laughs> Fucking creep. Um, I feel like there's more. Miley Cyrus, like, girl, how you doing? Call me now. Like, that's just a gift. Yeah, thing. Miley's gonna call you up. Sure. If anything, to f have you as like a fucking circus freak side dancer in one of her tours. She's just going to keep you in a cage at the end of the stage. No, like when I think of celebrity crushes, I don't even think of her because that's like a given. That's like, she's already my wife. So it's like, I can't really say like, go. Oh, yeah. Gotta... Yeah. Bro, I would love to see Miley fucking react to this bitch. Crush on my wife. Uh, she's like my wife already. I mean, Miley seems like a genuinely nice person, so I'm sure she wouldn't say nothing. But like. <laughs> <laughs> I took that too far. <laughs> I do think Justin Bieber's really cute. I know that's, like, weird, but... Hey, Amber, okay. Yeah, because, once again, <laughs> I mean, 2017, I think he was, he was definitely over 18 at that point. 
<laughs> but like Jesus Amber. It was actually sure. a really good spending budget that is for a first Christmas dating someone. Okay. First Christmas dating someone. By the way, you are super cute. I love your hair and your shirt. Like you look really cute. Okay. Off 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 on my own little thing. Yeah, okay. stop flirting. Stop flirting, Amber. Spending budget for first Christmas dating someone. Um Honestly, that just, it all depends, like, how- <laughs> Obviously, Amber doesn't have a fucking budget. For you two, like, how much money do you guys make? Um, what are you guys comfortable doing? I honestly, I don't know. It really just depends on, like, the relationship and the couple and how you guys feel. But if it was just, you looked kind of young. I don't know. I don't want to be wrong and, like, insult anyone. But you looked young. So I want to say, like, 100 to 200. I honestly, I don't know. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Some people are like, girl, that's too much. Or girl, that's too little. Like, you live in a poor house? Like, probably. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I really don't. I feel like maybe... You can see how skewed her sense of reality has already become by this point. Since it is your guys' first Christmas, you guys can talk about it together. Like, if you feel comfortable enough to do that. Because I feel like I don't have the right answers to anything. Okay, I'm gonna open some pictures. Like, would you ever see yourself in Destiny with kids? Just a picture of... I think you're watching TV. Um, do I see us with kids? No, I don't. Like, <laughs> that... I, I just don't. That doesn't mean I don't want them. I, I think people get that, like, confused and twisted. I think really, like, me and her having kids is, like, too good to be true. Like, I would love to have a little daughter walking around. But right Girl, now, Girl, no, no. Lord, whoever is listening out there, please don't ever grant this woman the power of having a child. Please. Jesus, fuck. Yari did a little bit to ensure that won't happen, but, like, we need more. <laughs> for our babies we both want kids i don't know although to be honest i don't think any adoption center would take this woman seriously if she came waddling in and was like yeah no i want to take care of a child i don't think any adoption center would fucking believe it no matter how much money she made in the future um i really hope it is because i know more so than like even me like she dreams of having children and i i really want that for her okay i love you Amber Lynn. That's what it's she wants that for her how sweet. I love you too. Oh, so sweet. I just, I can't with people. I just like, okay. We ever try to be vegan? I just feel like can't. <laughs> yes, I absolutely love your videos all the way from Canada. Just a black screen. Um, I love you all the way from the USA. <laughs> um, okay. Whatever be vegan again. I bet you she couldn't even fucking point out Canada on a map, dude. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was just talking about that, like, personally with one of my friends, which is ironic because that just happened today. And so ironic. I was more so, like, just telling her, like, you know, I never felt better being a vegan. Like, I honestly can say that's, like, one lifestyle, like, that just changes the way you walk. Like, it makes you feel light on air, just amazing. But I Sure, girly, sure. I don't think I'll ever be fully vegan, ever. Um, I could make vegan choices because I do anyway. Sometimes, I'm not saying I'm vegan or trying or anything. But there's a lot of things that are vegan are really tasty. <laughs> I really enjoy them. And, you know, anytime I do make a small choice that is a part of an animal I'm saving. Okay, that sounded really gruesome and I'm sorry. I don't want to offend anybody. But as for being, like, full vegan, that probably will never happen. Girl, no. It never will. It never will. That's the most honest thing she's ever fucking said. I know. I'm a horrible person. You're so horrible, Amber Lynn. Burn in hell. Burn in hell. <laughs> That's what she wants us to say. What's your favorite song at the minute? You're great, by the way. Thank you, another black screen. I don't mind black screens. I just wanted to show you guys in case you're wondering what I'm looking at. Okay. Um, my favorite song at the moment. I have two that I'm really feeling. Like, I feel it. When it comes on, I'm like, feeling it? Yeah. Okay. Energy. Ew. Break. Because I relate to that song in more ways than you guys know. I don't know why. I'm sure I do know why. Okay. And then Timmy Turner by Design. Those, I don't know. I'm feeling them. I am feeling them a lot. Isn't it Designer? I don't know. Maybe I'm stupid, but... I know, I know the song Timmy Turner. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy Turner. <laughs> yeah, it's by designer, dumbass. It's by designer, you dumbass. Design. I recently had days where I'm in physical pain because I'm overweight. Like I can feel off my skin and I feel disgusted with myself that I won't, that I won't to tear my skin off. If you've ever gone through something like this, how do you cope with it? The way you look should not matter. How do you get over that and just embrace your body? I love you so much. Thanks. Again, these were black screens. <laughs> that was so shady. <laughs> 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 The question was like, how you look should not matter. How do you get over that? <laughs> how do you get over the fact that you look the way you do? <laughs> uh, that was shady. Um, God, that made me feel really sad. I feel like I'm gonna cry because the fact that there's someone, I love you too, by the way. <laughs> the fact that there's someone out there that is feeling that way breaks my heart into pieces, especially someone who- Oh, empath land coming in hot. Just me because I'm 
Oh my god, shut the fuck up. Oh my god, crying. Girl. <laughs> Girl. Wow, I go from zero to a hundred. She literally, like, has the hormones of a pregnant woman already. She's worse than Alex. <laughs> literally less than a second. Um. Uh, I feel this way all the time. I'm feeling physical pain. And I think what hurts me the most is that, like, the pain that I feel, I wouldn't want anyone else to feel that way. But how you describe that really affected me for some reason because no it really affected her you guys it's horrible and honestly there's no way to cope with it besides just oh god i have the worst advice i feel like yeah yeah you do because you've never been to a fucking therapist so like why should we listen to your dumb ass what you just said embrace who you are what's those fucking noises know that if there are things about yourself that you don't like there's a way to fix those things such as your weight there is a way to fix them i promise you she promises. She's not going to do any of them, but she promises. You try hard enough and you put your mind to it 110%, you can do it. And I promise, like, I'm literally telling you, like, if it doesn't happen, you can come and find me and shave my head. But if you try and you give it your all and you give it your 110%, you can. So she, she's kind of saying it right here that in all of her attempts, she's never really tried. Hello. <laughs> I, that's just how it goes. Like, you can do it. But. <sighs> I would not feel inspired by a 500 pound something fucking telling me you can do it. You can do it. I promise you. <sighs> you can do it. <laughs> as you are now, while you're trying to better yourself, you need to love yourself now too. Because as weird as this may sound, by losing the weight, it doesn't automatically change everything. I know that because I did lose almost 100 pounds at one point, gained it all back. I know we don't have to talk about it, but. <laughs> I think we do. I think we do. I think that plays a very important role in the story. I lost those almost 100 pounds. When I said almost 100, it was 89. To the T. Amazing. <laughs> I wish I was at that point still. To the T. Amazing. When I lost those 89 pounds. Girl, you could have been 89 pounds down from that 89 pounds, but no. Look at you. I honestly thought it was going to change everything. It didn't. It made me feel happier. I felt better. But it didn't change everything you know you have to really dig it didn't change the fact that your girlfriends didn't want to fuck you thin to try to love yourself more and i just want you to know i don't know what you look like plus like even at this point amber 89 pounds wasn't shit for you like you got so much more work to do than just fucking 89 pounds like you didn't show me but i know you're beautiful and uh, it's such a beautiful thing to feel such strong emotion. I know for you, it's probably really tough right now, but I want you to know that you can love yourself, you can embrace yourself, and you can get better. I, I, that's just my only advice. She probably got these, filmed it, and then, like, didn't release it for a month or two. So, like, who knows? That person could have already off themselves, could have thrown themselves from a cliff, <laughs> and Amber's just now getting to the, I love you, you're beautiful for the way you are. Because I'm not good at things like this, because it's hard to give someone advice when they're feeling the exact same way that you're feeling, and I feel like I need to take my own advice, honestly. That's the truth. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. A little bit more videos. I know it's really late, but what is your favorite part about winter? Because it's starting to get cold here in Michigan, and I like skiing and snowboarding, and I didn't know what you like. You're so pretty, and I love your freaking hair. Did she even really look at her, girl? <laughs> God. Anyways, um, why aren't we getting any good shit? What the fuck is this? You had freaking Christmas music going on. Like, can we be BFFs? Like, girl. <laughs> um, she wants to date her. She wants to date her. Favorite thing about winter. It's, it's coming. Winter is a brew and winter is coming for us. Right now it's still fall and I love fall and winter. I used to love winter the most, but I think I love fall the most. I don't know. I'm very indecisive because I love Christmas. But what I love the most about winter is Christmas. And I love that it's not freaking hot outside because I can't deal with the hot girl. No. <laughs> I just don't like when it's hot. <laughs> hey, we're late. It's early. In the morning, it's like the best I'm just wondering what do you look for in a girlfriend? What do I look for in a girlfriend? You're whispering, so should I whisper too? What I no, you're a fucking creep. Or the girlfriend is someone who I can trust. Okay, I won't. <laughs> okay, if it's morning time where you live and it's nighttime here, you must live in a different country, but. Hi, you baby. Hi, sleepyhead. Say hello to all the people that love you. <laughs> he walks away. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Goo loves you, too. Don't worry. I know. He personally told me last night. He's just being shy. Hi, baby. He doesn't need anything. He just hops up here when he wants some lovin's. Like, that's literally it. 
fun little uh, side story. So there was someone walking these two like younger, uh, really young huskies outside. And I was very tentative about letting Goo like be introduced to them. But he did good. They were sniffing around him a lot and like jumping a lot around him. And he did good. I could tell that he was very like tentative with them. But I don't want to push it like too, too much, you know. But I need to start socializing him with other animals just slowly and carefully. Because, God, dude, I'd hate it for something to fucking happen. That could be wrong. I mean, I'm assuming. <laughs> okay, so what I look for in a girlfriend is someone I can trust. Really, I feel like honesty, communication, those things are super key. Chemistry. Uh, that's ironic. Destiny was in the other room talking to Dana when she filmed this. <laughs> in a connection they all run in the same tango chemistry uh connection it's not just chemi chemistry like physically but it's like your minds have to be chemistry together girl what the fuck you know and your body's like shit <laughs> i just feel like it's really important to have chemistry like do you guys like the same things you guys don't have to be it's so important you guys or you guys can be opposites but do you guys enjoy doing things together that are the same do you get what i'm saying and you can you guys talk and communicate and that's just really important to me and someone who's respectful. And we've definitely sh been shown that in your and Destiny's relationship, a thousand percent. And who can accept who I am, like, as a person. A horrible, fucking degrading human. That's what you are. And you want someone to accept you for that? Okay. That's just how I feel. <laughs> okay, we're going to do one last one because this one's, this video is so long. Hi, I'm Rillian. My question is, where's your favorite place to eat out? Girl, everywhere. Like. <laughs> True. My girlfriend? Okay, that was, that was, that was not, that was not appropriate. Girl, shut the fuck up. Oh my god. She's so thirsty. Are you guys here? Oh god, striking me freaking down. Ew. I'm so very sorry. I will never speak like that again on camera. Yeah, I will. My favorite. Ew. <laughs> oh, what a Amber, have some fucking self-respect. Jesus Christ. You guys saw when you fell, but you fell. Hope you saw something good. Ew, ew. She's probably not wearing pants, that's why she said that. My favorite place to eat out, Cheesecake Factory or a Mexican restaurant or a Chinese. Or Destiny. Okay. I don't know, like, or a place that has really good sushi, like, on point sushi. Oh, but Destiny. If I could recommend a place for somebody, it would be the Cheesecake Factory because it has so many different things there. It could all, like, what am I trying to say? The menu is so thick that you could like any type of food and it'll be on the menu pretty much. And, um, yeah. But you order the same fucking thing every time. I mean, that's me, guys. In all of the years that I've been eating at Cheesecake Factory, I've only ever eaten the same fucking thing. <laughs> I've varied a little bit here and there. I've tried some of their other stuff. But mainly, mm, I really love their... Um, it's sold on the menu as the like Chipotle chicken, the creamy Chipotle chicken pasta. But I get it without the chicken, and it's got, like, asparagus and, like, tortilla strips on it. It's so good. I just completely failed at that. Like, why did that fall? That was, that was God striking me down. Like, for real. It's like, don't you be a perv. Be a perv in the sheets, not in the streets. I feel it. Like, I wasn't even in the streets. Oh, my God, bedroom, girl. Like, shut the fuck up. The End the video. I sleep on this wall. <laughs> I hope you guys End the fucking video. Yo, I'm in a funky mood. If you guys watched it till the end, freaking amazing. Let's dab. That's not even a dab. I do this every time. And I'm like, let's dab. Like, what? End the fucking video. That, like, I'm gonna call it, like, the Amberlynn thing or something. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Love you guys. She's so fucking weird, dude. We're ending it there. No comments, nothing. All right. Night, guys. <laughs> Imagine I just end the video right there. <laughs> oh, that'd be so funny. Oh, my God. She is so fucking annoying. <laughs> That was three videos in a row. And to be honest, guys, I recorded the Retro React before this. So I literally just sat through five fucking Amberlynn videos. Oh, my God. And I'm going to go sit through an HRH one right after this. Ugh. Anyways, so for the next video after this, we're going to be checking out Thanksgiving and Black Friday shopping 2016. Girl just can't fucking help herself. Any reason to go out shopping, she's going to do it. And then... It's two more really short videos, so we might do a double or a triple feature again. One is called I'm a Failure. Aww. And that one's almost four minutes. And then the one after that is What a Fat Girl Eats at a Buffet. And that one is three minutes. So, you know, classic Amberlynn trolling. <laughs>
Let's get to it. I guarantee you it's probably because she got shit for the Snapchats and the Thanksgiving and Black Friday shopping videos. And so this is her way of getting it back to the haters, whatever. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I have heard your guys' opinions on a goo vlog. I think I'm going to... So, I mean, just a update. I have not gone to Vermont yet. We've decided to just wait until after Goo's um, surgery and after he's healed up. I mean, you're actually going to be seeing this video. This will be on the first. Um, so Goo will have had his surgery today and I will do a community post to update you guys on how that goes. Um, later in the day, he should be out by 1230. So that's good. Um, but yeah, so just fingers crossed guys, you know, send all the good luck and kisses to goo. Um, but he's going to be perfectly fine. I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it, but that's also the day that he will officially be mine. You know, I will no longer be a foster parent for him. I will be his official adoptee. So, yeah, it's going to be an exciting day. It's going to be very exciting. But, yeah. So, let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.